Um, we're very happy to have Chris Daphne here from Honeybee. He's sending multiple payload elements all across the solar system. Uh, today, he's going to tell us about one of those, the Trident drill for Viper and Prime 1 to the moon. So go ahead, Chris. Thanks, Jen. Thanks very much for, for the opportunity. I'm going to talk about something that here at Honeybee, we've been developing since 2005. So it's been, it's been you know, uh, for, for many of us, a career. And pretty soon, uh, we're going to achieve our goal of actually drilling on the moon. We're flying two missions. The first one is in late 2022. The mission is called Prime One, which stands for Polar Resources Ice Mining Experiment. And then pretty much exactly a year later, we are flying a Viper mission, uh, which will also have a drill that it, both of those missions, it's explorations missions, they go to the South Pole. The lander mission is going to land, uh, it, it's a very short duration mission, couple of days. Uh, it's going to go around meter down into the subsurface and bring samples to the, um, to the surface for investigation by mass spectrometer called MSOLO. A Viper mission, uh, it's a longer duration mission, uh, approximate duration of exploration is 100, 100 days. Our goal is to not just drill one hole, but drill 50 holes uh, if we have enough time. And the, the regolith that we're gonna bring up from, a, from subsurface will gonna be uh, investigated by two very powerful instruments. And the same m solo that's flying on Prime 1, but also near infrared spectrometer uh, called Nervous. And uh, uh, between those two, we'll have a very good composition of the uh, volatile content, also mineral content on the, on the subsurface as a function of stratigraphy. Uh, I've got one slide uh, related to the, uh, the drill itself as, a, as an instrument. So I'm gonna leave it uh, for the next, uh, uh, for the next few minutes. The, I'm gonna jump in with all those pictures uh, as opposed to going one by one. But back in the 70s, uh, we've done quite a bit of drilling. Uh, the first drill was deployed actually uh, by Soviets on Luna 16, it was robotic sample return mission. Uh, Luna 20 was very similar to Luna 16. And then we had a two meter drill Luna 24 uh, there around the same time. Uh, Apollo 15, 16, and 17 deployed. Um, uh, it was human-operated drill, captured samples, uh, core samples all the way down to three meter depth. And there was absolutely nothing until last December where we had a Chang'e 5 uh, lander with a, with a drill and the and robotic arm. The drill, uh, the goal of the drill was to go two meter below the ground. It was pretty much uh, in a replica of a Luna 24, Soviet Luna 24 drill with a very clever sampling mechanism. Uh, Chengi 5, uh, I think, stopped around a meter depth. I think they hit a big rock, uh, but they still captured a lot of sample from a top one meter depth and successful, successfully returned it back to Earth. Um, the, the Trident drill that uh, I'm presenting here is, as I mentioned, is going to plan in Prime 1 and, and Viper, big. Uh, yellow uh, stars, but then uh, there are many other missions in, uh, in the pipeline. Chang'e 6 is going to go to the South Pole. Then we have uh, Indian uh, slash Japanese mission, uh, Lupex, uh, that probably launched somewhere around 2025. Luna 27 with a prospect a European drill will launch uh, around 2025 as well. And uh, again, Prospect is going to be launching on Eclipse, NASA Eclipse lander, also around 2025. Uh, other thing I want to mention is um, in 2023, we're flying a heat flow probe, uh, which is new generation of drilling system that uses cold tubing. Uh, it's, it's a metal tube uh, that uh, you essentially force to, uh, from, a, from a drum and make it turn from a from a coil into, into a straight tube. And we're using gas to actually excavate bottom right, left-hand side right over here. You have this beautiful plume of regolith being blown out. The goal of this drilling system is uh, three meters. And um, we actually have done tests and we can drill down to three meters in around two to three minutes, so super fast. And of course, we should not forget that Artemis uh, is going to the moon. Uh, with humans, and uh, we're going to be also drilling with humans, deep core, uh, acquiring deep cores. 
So a lot of a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, Trident is a, a rotary percussive drill. Uh, percussion is used sporadically whenever we have to go through uh, icy formation. Normally, it's just going to be an auger. Uh, we have uh, feed stages and deployment stages, which are cable based, so they uh, are very dust tolerant. Instead of having the screw pushing you down, we actually have a cable pulley, so you throw dust at it and it's not gonna, it's not gonna clog. And instead of bringing sample uh, to, the, to the cup, we're dumping the sample uh, on the surface uh, for investigation. And uh, we call this bite sampling approach. We essentially drill down, uh, send 10 centimeter down, pull the sample out, brush off, uh, dump the sample on the surface, and solar nervous can investigate it. And when we go back into the same hole, capture another 10 centimeters, we bring the sample again to the surface. And uh, as you see the pictures at the bottom, this cone gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And by doing so, we, we actually can preserve stratigraphy pretty well because every 10 centimeters, uh, you can get a you know, bunch of sample. And in fact, as we keep on dumping the, the sample onto the cone and above M solar nervous uh, view it real time, our stratigraphy is not only 10 centimeters, we can get even to, to a centimeter or, or, or less. From, a, from an engineering standpoint, uh, this, this approach uh, offers very low power drilling. A lot of power is, is required to bring the cuttings to the surface, and we're not doing it uh, across the tens, across a meter length. We're doing it in these predetermined 10 centimeter bytes. So uh, this has tremendous implication, not just for power, but the risk of getting stuck in the freezing in and, and, and so on. So overall, it's a, it's a very good approach. Uh, we've done uh, a lot of tests. Of, uh, we drilled over 30 holes uh, at NASA Glen in the VA-14, which is a lunar chamber with both uh, M solar mass spectrometer and nervous near infrared spectrometer to determine whether uh, this approach works and whether this approach works with uh, the two instruments. And the regolith was a, a different water concentration and both M solar and nervous uh, managed to correlate water concentration with the spectra that they have seen uh, in, in the data. So very, very successful tests proving the, the technology. Uh, the, the drill is not just the drill, as, as I mentioned earlier, it's also a science instrument. And Jen alluded to this earlier on uh, when talking about the resource. Um, you, can, you can put a lot of instrumentations in the drill and take it down to the surface. The, the Trident will in fact have a heater and temperature sensors. So we can measure downfall temperature we can measure thermal conductivity, and also we can get uh, with temperature thermal conductivity, we can measure heat flow properties uh, of, the, of this location of the moon. But this bunch of other things we can get. Uh, looking at the cone, we can get angle of repose and density. Uh, looking at the footpath sinkage into the regolith, we can learn about uh, bearing capacity. And by looking at the drilling power, we know something about the strength of a formation. And why is that important? Well, the, the instruments will provide, will tell you, this is a graph of a, a strength versus moisture content. The instruments will tell you how much water is below the ground, but will not gonna tell you whether ice is, is sintered uh, in the regolith, like isometric ground on the East Coast during winter, or whether ice is mixed loosely with, with regolith. Um, so what, what instruments will tell you is, let's say there is a 12% moisture content or water content. The drilling telemetry will tell you uh, whether it's a, loose, a loosely uh, fused uh, ice and regolith or whether it's ice cemented. Ice cemented is as hard as concrete. We're gonna need a lot of power to, to drill to, into it. Uh, but if it's ice sort of mixed loosely with re regular grains, we're not gonna need a lot of power. So that's how we can differentiate between the two. And obviously this has tremendous impact, not on just the, the history of, of regolith and ice formation, but also uh, how to do ISRU. Uh, completely different approach if it's isometric, completely different approach if it's loose, uh, loose material. 
Chris, less than one minute. Okay, sounds good. And uh, finally, it takes uh, you know someone's career to develop technology. A lot of people uh, you know put a lot of effort to go from here on free uh, back in two thousand five all the way to to fly it in a in the next year. And uh, it's it's been it's been a trip. It's been a, it's definitely been a trip and a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, we actually publish books on uh, on drilling. Um, they, they don't make a lot of profit, <laughs> but uh, they're a good resource uh, if, if you want to learn how to do this sort of thing. So with this, I would like to thank everyone. And this is a part of our team uh, from NASA and, uh, and Honeybee Robotics. And uh, happy to, to answer questions that you may have. Great, thanks very much, Chris. Um, folks can feel free to put questions in the chat as needed. Um, I have one quick question for you, Chris. So you pointed out that Prime 1 flies one year, essentially, before Viper. So does that allow you any time to do any changes to the hardware, software operations um, from Prime no. 1 based on what you learned? Yeah, no, not, not, the, not the hardware, because we're building those two dr drills concurrently. And uh, in fact, we'll have, we're going to start assembly next month. Um, but from an operation standpoint, definitely yes. From software operation, yes. Uh, how we do this uh, on Prime One is going to segue into into Viper for sure. Great, thank you very much.